will never stop. I will never stop. Alright guys, good morning, it is Friday, and one of the questions I usually get asked as a trainer is what is the best pre and post workout? I've tried all different things, and I have all different things at home, but stay tuned, and I will show you what I'm cooking up next. Okay, so right here I have a simple blender bottle, and what's in here is one of my favorite whey protein shakes, it's the Isopure Low Carb Double Dutch Chocolate. I'm a huge chocolate fanatic, so in order to get my chocolate, I use this. Next, I don't know, Kool-Aid. I know you guys are saying to yourself, Kool-Aid really, Mary? Does Kool-Aid really do the trick? And it does. On the program I use, which I'm on maintenance right now, it's called Renaissance Periodization. And what it calls for is 15 grams of a carb. So for me, that's about a half a scoop to a scoop of this. And then it calls for just, I don't remember the exact measurements, but because I've been doing this for so long. But when I do this, it's the one quart inside here. What I do is I pour those two bad boys in. And what happens is I drink about two thirds of this with water. About 15, 20 minutes before my workout. And I let it sit here, and then after my workout, I drink the rest, which is probably about, if I drink two thirds before, then it's one third. If I do one third before, then it's two thirds after. And then in between, I drink, well that's not very steady, but in between I drink Kool-Aid, or not Kool-Aid, Gatorade. So I get all my extra sugars out of all of that. Now, why do I use it? It's simple. It's sugar, yes, but it's none of that extra caffeine feeling, especially for my Mormon friends who we don't drink coffee and stuff like that, minus me every once in a while. So I use that and it gives me that extra kick that I need, that extra pump, I would say, for that workout. So stay tuned next time and I'll let you know what a post meal workout looks like.